what's up uh, I know y'all getting tired of hearing about this Zimmerman case and I know I do but it's like this though I sat here for the longest and thought about these situations because one thing don't sit right with me is because it's on how that uh, Zimmerman's got a $150,000 bond and he got to walk he got to walk because one thing is that I don't get about it is where is where it's because because one thing is I've never seen a person that had committed a crime ever post up a website to get to get a like I never seen a murderer put up post up a website where he can actually get donations to donations where he can actually have a legal team like nobody never questioned the website why do you think he it was the right thing for him to do to have a website to collect donations because one thing is one thing is about this whole case is where is where you never heard about any other website uh, you never heard of any other murderers uh, setting up a website where yeah you know, where they can get a uh, I'm like I just don't get it because they it just I, I just never heard any murderer setting up a website where they can collect donations and all this and that because why would any murderer want to set up a website to set up a website to get donations for a legal team like and it's, and, and it's just kind of wrong with me because Ain't nobody, ain't nobody, ain't nobody questioning. It. Ain't nobody never questioned his legal team either. Like he's got like the best legal team there is in Florida. Like why does he got the best legal team in Florida? A lawyer that's got more connections than a motherfucker. Why does he got that type of look, uh, uh, legal team? You probably wonder like what you talking about legal team. Like. He, the lawyer actually outed himself on national TV because he's got all these connections with networks with other people and all this and that. nobody never questioned it Not, but I am, I'm questioning his this lawyer I'm questioning Zimmerman's two friends because only two of them has been on TV or in the newspaper more than Trayvon Martin's parents it's been, they've been on TV more than anybody when this case started Joseph Oliver and Frank Taffy because one thing is what really don't get me is is where Joseph Oliver the black guy with the beard the bald headed black guy with the beard is that he sits up here and he has no job and he's, he has no job and I say okay this man is, he lives in a nice area like suburbs area gated community uh, in Zimmerman's community and he's not working I ain't like how would you afford to live in the area like that if you ain't got no job where you can probably say well his wife probably working I think he's a single guy cause you never they, I, I never heard them mention I don't know y'all I don't know if anybody heard that he was married or single or not to me I never heard if he was married or not, so that tells me nothing. But this, like, okay, if you're living in this gated community and you don't have a job, how are you getting money? How are you getting paid? Unless somebody, unless somebody paid him to take up for Zimmerman, because that's one thing I'm questioning. Same with Frank Taffy. Is somebody paying Frank Taffy money to? to do anything because it it's puzzled the shit out of me and the bruise that he said he's supposed to got that doesn't look like a fucking bruise on the back
back of his head. That looked like somebody took food color and ran it across the back of his head. That's what that looks like. I I never seen a bruise like that on the back of somebody's head. Cause you can see the line right there what at the top where it's got a look, the light is got a little brighter. That the line goes across. And I thought about the crime scene. He said Trayvon grabbed his head and banged his head hard against the pavement. If your head was banging hard against the pavement, there would have been a blood stain in the pavement. There would have been something there to back up his claim. Anybody can sit there and take makeup or food coloring and put it on them say, oh, I got a bruise. I got hurt. But you don't see no blood stains. You didn't even see none of that until they show this picture. I have to go with Trayvon. I'm going to have to go with the Martin's lawyer. Why did they show this picture now instead of showing it two months ago because it never made no sense on how they waited till the last minute to show Zimmerman's pitch, uh, injuries like he said that he sustained a big injury on the back of his head and his nose his nose didn't look swollen even medical team even a few even few doctors said well his nose is not swollen doesn't look like it's been broken his nose hasn't been broken. Why is there a few doctors, <clears throat> few doctors sitting up there saying his nose and his nose not been broken? You could probably say, oh, well, somebody paid. No, I'm for real though. I, if I don't see his nose not being broken, the doctors don't see his nose been broken, then there's some clearly something up. And because one thing is, if you was going to show a picture of all his injuries, it would have been shown in the weeks, the first few weeks of that injury. I mean, first few weeks of the incident. A few days, or few a week or so. But they wasted so much time to show this image that I think it's fake. It's doctors, same as the video they end up doing. Because when they first showed that video, you didn't see a bandage, you didn't see a, an injury, a bruise, nothing on the back of his head. Then the next day they show the same video, but it's been doctored, it's been edited, it's been photoshopped to make it look like it's an injury. Because if you get a head injury on the back of your head, you would have had a bigger wound on the back of your head, not just a line across your the back of your head and it made it look like food color. Because I say it like this, uh, I watch a lot of medical shows like uh, the 800 pound man, I don't watch that Grey's Anatomy bullshit shit like that, but I watch the whole the 800 pound man where they cut the fat off of, of a man or a woman or they do, if somebody's got a head injury, it, they'll show where they sewed it up. And I watched it enough where that this is a fake, that he faked his injury. Because the injuries would have been a would have been bigger. The injuries would have been bigger, not smaller. That's the line that he got hurt, that he got did wrong. And because one thing, the second thing is, he said he got overpowered by Trayvon. Trayvon's a lot smaller than him. Oh, but he's an athlete. Doesn't. Ain't no way in hell a small a smaller person can take on a two hundred and fifty pound person. It makes no sense on how he said that said this. And the donations that he got from the from that website. Come on. Ain't nobody put a cease and desist on it. Ain't nobody sit there and question that. Because one thing is once that site went up once that site went up, he started getting all these donations and all this money, so on and so forth, that he can afford the best lawyer in Florida that's got all these damn connections to to a lot of people, to a lot of places. And and he got the fifty hundred and fifty thousand dollar bond bail and he posted bail and he skipped out. Like he they said he went into hiding. Bullshit, that motherfucker went to another country. There's no way in hell he's hiding in the U. 
U.S. And I told and I told you in the last video, the last video I did, I said, look, if he walks, somebody's going to end up killing that judge, his lawyer, and the Zimmerman because they let him walk. I'm not saying I'm going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Why should I do it? I'm not trying to make myself look like a, sus a suspect, but people in Florida are going to end up trying to find him and trying to kill him because one thing is they want justice. You probably say, well, Joe, you, want, you sound like you're making this a racial issue. I didn't say it's a racial issue. I'm saying for a crime like this, why does a man like this get to walk away from a crime where he can shoot a kid, claim self-defense, then put food coloring on the back of his head and claim that he's been beat up by a 17-year-old child. Now, I remember, what was it, uh, a few months ago, a father, I don't know if y'all saw the video about the father uh, teach, uh, letting his boy and his friend fight in the backyard, and as his son got beat up, the father beat the shit out of the friend. And that father got sent to jail for that. Now, that guy was 40, 40 years old, and his son was 17. And, and you could probably look it up on YouTube about the father beating up the friend, something like that in the backyard. And like I said, I don't get it. That he claims that he got a power by a 17-year-old child where he's old enough to take out two 17-year-old kids. Big enough and old enough. Somebody is somebody's getting paid. Somebody's getting money. They some people. I think some people are getting paid to shut up. I'm, I think some people are getting paid to lie. I get. I think somebody's getting paid to act like they seen something, because there's no way in hell that this man should have got a hundred and fifty thousand dollar bond, uh, bond or 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 bail or whatever, and. He got two friends going on national TV speaking. Oh, he's not a racist. Oh, he didn't never do nothing like this. But you look at his rap sheet. His ex fiance put a restraining order out on his ass. He's been fired from his security job for acting inappropriate. How come he's got a longer rap sheet than Trayvon Martin does? Oh, you can use that whole, well, he got suspended from school three times. What does getting from getting suspended from school have to do with Trayvon's death? Nothing. Nothing. But um, Zimmerman's rap sheet, yes, that tells a lot about a person. On how he sits up there and shoots a kid and he's been in trouble. The 46 phone calls to the police department about black folks. And I'm tired of people. I'm tired of people writing comments on the video saying he's Hispanic. No motherfucker. He's he's Hispanic and white. He is not just one race. He is mixed with two Hispanic and white. Quit saying he's just Hispanic, cause that's fucked up. And like I said, ain't nobody questioning shit. Why ain't nobody questioning that lawyer? Why ain't nobody questioning that judge to see if he got a pay, if he got paid, if he somebody greased his hands? To me, I think they should be investigating, not just investigating Zimmerman, but also that judge and see why the Heath gave him a bond like that, a hundred fifty thousand dollar bond like that, and uh, and shit. Because one thing is, I don't believe that he's innocent. I still don't believe he's innocent. I believe he's more guilty because only the guilty, only the guilty runs. Only the guilty runs because if you was innocent, you would have been trying to prove to the world that you're innocent. But for a person to post up a website to get all these donations to get a legal team, like get a lawyer, and uh, to get a lawyer and then bail out of jail, then skip town. So he is looking more guilty every day and people are supporting that so people people are supporting we're gonna hide you sir man I'm I, cause I think it got got more fucked up because it got to a point where Al Sharpton got started talking and then the Rainbow Coalition the NAACP 
it shows that it got bad. It's, it was getting bad. And when the Black Panthers came out and posted a million dollar, million dollar reward on his head, that's got even worse. Now, come on now. Come on now. They could have already, because to me, is if they would have, if they would have did the right thing, is then you wouldn't hear shit from Al Sharpton or Jesse Jackson or the Rainbow Coalition, the NAACP, or the Black Panthers, if they would have did the right thing and and did their jobs. Why did they wait two months to prosecute him? Why did they wait three weeks just to give get a new district attorney to look at the case to prosecute him? They wasted all their time in Florida, and this man could Trayvon Martin could have got justice. They wasted all that time in Florida. I could have got justice for that, for that, boy, for that kid, because he deserves justice, not Zimmerman. So if he wants, it's like they, like they say they're gonna, they they fixing the whole self defense law where it doesn't it have a, it doesn't end up again like another Zimmer, Trayvon Martin case. Where if he wants, it's gonna be another one, because one thing is. Is how they treat in this case, because there's no way in hell, some, there's no way in hell some guy is gonna walk from, walk from murder. Oh well, Casey Anthony did. That's because they couldn't find no evidence on there. Or well, OJ did because well they couldn't find no evidence on him. But there's evidence on Zimmerman, and he's about to walk. How does he? How does a person like Zimmerman? get the walk from killing the kid how would y'all feel if somebody came up killed your kid and said oh, I, oh it was self defense it was self defense you want justice as well as the next person uh, half of y'all would have been saying oh I killed him I killed him if that happened no y'all wouldn't y'all be doing the same damn thing supporting it well at least my child's in heaven now well, me and Zimmer's gonna hit the bar and get drunk like a motherfucker. For real. Why does... It's about money. It's about who's got more money. Because there's no way in hell anybody can walk from a murder case. There's been a lot of people that walked away from murder. Yeah, that's because money was involved. This whole damn case has been based on money. Some it's half the damn people are getting paid off just to just not to speak, to speak, to lie, to fake, to to fake saying they seen the seen what happened, everything. Because I've seen more people taking up for Zimmerman than I did for Trayvon. Only a white woman and a kid took up for Trayvon. About 50 fucking, about like a shitload of people come out the woodworks taking up for Zimmerman. I was like, oh, I'm like, are you for real? That you're going to take up for a guy that killed a kid and claim self defense and lied and said he got a bruise on the back of his head from hitting his head on the sidewalk. Uh, come on now. You gotta start questioning these people, man. Like, is the judge getting paid off? Is the judge sitting on the bench to lie? Is the judge sitting up there not looking at the evidence or overlooking evidence? Because one thing is, I've seen them, like, I watched Daylight like a motherfucker, and I think it's a bunch of bullshit that they will let this man walk because. Oh, because they think it's the right thing to do. Because to me, it seems like it's a bunch of bullshit. Why would anybody take up for a man that committed a crime so heinously, so so bad that he can walk for murder? And that's how it is. That's how it is. I think it's been said. I think he's some people getting paid. To to, to stay quiet or pay to say all these lines and all this and that because there's no way in hell that two of his friends are going to be on national TV 
24 fucking 7 because the reason why I'm saying all this is because one thing is I saw the case and I thought it was straight bullshit on how he's getting on yeah I'm, I think he's about to walk to me I think he's gonna walk I think he's gonna walk from the murder charge because I think the reason why I say this that he's gonna walk is because how everything because everything don't seem right the reason why I'm saying all this is because it, it makes no sense that this man is out walking the country out walking the country and hiding a guilty man will hide an innocent man will trying to prove his innocent why is he why is he hiding unless if he's guilty unless if he's guilty and that's all that's the only way I see it is he's guilty he's walking he's lying he's some of these people are actually I think even the cops are getting paid on his payroll I don't cause to me I think it is I think some of these cops I think that whole Stanford or I think what is Stanford uh, Florida I think that that whole department is getting paid off just to take up for Zimmerman because there is no way in hell that they're gonna like, cause one thing is that made the police chief step down and retire. If not, he was gonna get his life was in danger anyway. Uh, because one thing is, if he didn't step down, he would have got killed. Second thing is, man, the judge should have thought about that. To me, I thought to me, the, I, if I was that judge and I was in that judge shoes, the first thing I would have did was I. Uh, I'm stepping down from this case because my life is too important to, than this fucking case. And I would have stepped down. Which is more important for that judge? His life or that fucking money? I guess that money is more important to him because he's still sitting up there. And I was there sitting over in another country sipping on margaritas and shit because they just let this man walk. Now, there will never be justice for Trayvon Martin. Never. Because they were so stupid and ignorant. And they sat there and allowed this man to walk from a case that he should have been found guilty of. It doesn't have to do with skin color. It has to do with the. It has to do with what is right. To me, the evidence I heard really points that he is guilty. He knew that he seen the kid walk out of the gated community and he seen him walk in how do you miss that oh I did not recognize him motherfucker the reason why you lied is because you wanted to pop pop your gun off you want to have a reason to shoot your gun that's all it is to it that's all it is to it he somebody's getting some of these people are getting paid one thing is I think some people need to start investigating Zimmerman's lawyer and that judge and the police department of Stanford, Florida or whatever that Stanford for whatever that place is called but sorry but I think they need to start doing an investigation in that precinct because there's no way in hell a kid is going to get shot and then some grown ass man is going to like oh man that was self defense that is a lie this has been Afro Joe telling like a TIE. If you don't like what I got to say, move on. Don't leave a comment. I don't want to hear your bullshit. If you like what I got to say, leave a comment or a video response and tell me what you think. And check me, uh, subscribe to my channel. Look up this. If you own my both my channels, CeeLo Jr. 2 and CeeLo Jr. 3, look up where it says, my name, says the channel name, CeeLo Jr. 2. Go look next to it. Hit subscribe. Same with CeeLo Jr. 3. Look up, see the name. Look next to it, says subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Afro Joe the Wookie. And just, like, question these things, man. Like, question them. Don't sit up there and try to still take up for them. You gotta question these things before you make a judgment. Because half the things been said, I, it, it, half the things that's been said and done, still to me seems like he's guilty, not innocent. Thank y'all, this has been Afro Joe.
Peace.